Hi everyone and welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I wanted to just make a short video on some of the projects that I'm working on for 2022. But before I get to that, I just wanted to say thank you for all the positive interactions I've had, the many comments, uh, how you've supported the channel, and the channel has really grown into what I consider a rocket community. So I just wanted to take a second and say thank you for that. I appreciate that. It really inspires me to make more videos. So what's going to happen in 2022? Let's take a look. I will continue to build high power rockets like this three inch fiberglass kit from Composite Warehouse. And yeah, the nose cone is actually that red color with a black tip. I think that's really cool. And this is what the airframe looks like. It is blue. And this is a split fin design here. So this should be a little bit challenging to build. So I'll do a review on that and fly it in the spring or summer. It's winter time here, so I'm not able to fly it this time. And a product that will help with zippers. So yeah, this is nice and soft. I think this uh, would be very valuable. And this um, heavy duty retainer here that is made out of resin. It's uh, very robust. I like it a lot. It's a little bit cheaper than an Aeropack retainer. And so we'll take a look at that. And the uh, composite kit called the Prometheus comes with flame decals. And hey, who doesn't like flames? So I'm going to review all that and much more. As many of you know, I'm a big fan of sugar fuels, and so I'm going to continue research on that. I've only flown a couple commercial motors since I've got into sugar motors, so I'm going to expand those. I'll show you a couple of the motor tubes that I have that I'm going to work with, but uh, I'm going to also work on adding metal powders to the sugar fuels. Now, last year, uh, 2021, I made some pretty good advances with that. I had some things that didn't work out real well, uh, but others did. So I'm pretty close to finishing up work on that. And so in the spring, summer of 2022, should have plenty of flights with metal powder in the fuel. So uh, be patient with that. It takes time and resources to make these. Uh, and it's just uh, something you can't rush or <laughs> the results can be less than pleasant. So I'm going to continue working with sugar fuel. Stay tuned. I'm working on a new propellant that has no AP or ammonium perchlorate and no sugar in it. It's quite different than anything else I've worked with. Uh, it's really unique. Uh, it's progressing pretty well. What is it? Well, you'll just have to wait and find out. Still in the initial stages, but I'll give you a sneak peek right now. I will be experimenting with high LD motors or length to diameter like this 38 millimeter 1200 and also this 54 millimeter 2800 motor that's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good size there. Uh, they present special problems like erosive burning and I'll talk about that uh, when I get to the video. And uh, I've made the nozzles for them. I have a mini lathe and uh, I'm not real skilled at it yet. I'm still learning how to use it, but at least I can make nozzles for it. So this should be exciting when I get these up and running. Well, that's a quick look on some of the things I'm working on. If there's something that you would like to see me build or do, uh, just leave a note in the comments and I'll take a look at it. Um, I'm also going to consider building something like a T-lock from Lock Precision or a large airframe rocket like that. So, uh, if you have an opinion on that, or if you had one you'd like to see me build, like the Wolverine or something like that, let me know in the comments. I appreciate your time and attention. Uh, please be patient as I work through all of these. If you like the content from this channel, please consider buying me a coffee and supporting the channel. I'd appreciate that very much. If you're short on cash, a thumbs up always helps. Okay, stay safe. I'll see you soon.